Hello everyone. In this video, we'll try to understand Apache Beam. Apache Beam is one of the big data tool. There are many big data tools like you know Apache Spark, Flink, Hadoop, so many. And why we are talking about Apache Beam now? That you are going to understand by end of this video. So yeah, Apache Beam started you know in 2016. When Google donated their you know, uh, data flow SDK to Apache Software Foundation. So, technically speaking, Apache Beam is used by Google for their internal projects, right? So, you can think Google is how big it is, right? It is, you know, serving some millions of requests per second. So, such a big product, it's using Apache Beam, right? This is, this is one, one good thing, you know, why we need to learn Apache Beam right and google cloud right gcp is providing google cloud data flow which is a serverless service where you can deploy your apache beam code you need not to worry about you know provisioning the server ram cpu nothing you write your you know apache beam code and deploy it there you need not to worry about any of the kind of you know configuration that's awesome right and the very important thing is apache beam is a unified big data platform. What I mean by unified, right? So we have two types of big data problems. One is streaming, the another one is batch, which we already discussed in our previous video, right? So technically speaking, if you take any big data tool, right, you will have separate SDKs, right? You have separate different programming styles for streaming logic and, you know, the batch logic. Where in case of Apache Beam, let's say, you know, if I write a logic, uh, Apache Beam, you know, if I implemented Apache Beam for batch processing data, right? And I can make use of the same code for the streaming also. The same code, the same logic can be used for batch processing and also the stream processing. That's the beauty of it. So you need not to learn you know, two different SDKs for one for, you know, uh, streaming, another for batch processing that's the beauty of it not just that the beauty of it that is one of the beauty of it there's one more big thing is that apache beam can run on any runtime engines for example let's say your organization is already using spark or hadoop a flink right any of the typical the widely used big data tools right now <coughs> we decided to use apache beam so I really need not to worry about, you know, hey, you know, I need to install Apache Beam in all my servers, all those things. No, that's the beauty I'm saying, right? So whatever the logic you have written in Apache Beam, the same logic you can deploy over the Spark servers. You can deploy over the Hadoop system. You can deploy it over the Flink servers. <coughs> that's the beauty of it. You need not to worry about, you know, reconfiguring your existing, you know, the big data ecosystem. You can deploy your Apache Beam code in the existing runtimes, as we just discussed, right? We are still not done with the beauty of Apache Beam. There is one more. Is that? you have a choice of selecting your favorite programming language to implement the Apache Beam projects. Like if you see, you can use Java, Python, Golang, Scala, and recently they are also, you know, implementing SQL, right? So that is one of the beauty, as I said, right? On the right side, uh, if you see, these are the executing engines that, you know, you can run your Apache Beam code. Like as I said, like, you know, if Apache Spark, Google Dataflow, Fling, whatnot we have many more all right so yeah so typically when you see the you know uh, the high level architecture of you know apache beam it has two major parts one is sdk right so where you implement you know you have apis to implement the apache beam programming and you have the runtime engines or executed engines where you can deploy your apache beam code so hope uh, I'm able to convince you that, you know, why you need to learn Apache Beam, right? So if you like this video, please like it. If you like it more, please subscribe it. Thank you.